Oh, yeah, I wanted to read this right here. So apparently a pastor has died attempting a 40-day fast in Mozambique. Let's just take the time to break some Christian news. All right, let's bring this back up. Let's bring this back up. Uh, tragic story. But again, again, I can't stress this enough, man. I can't stress this enough. Man, we... As the body of Christ, it's, it's just so important to understand the context of the scriptures. Let's just read this. All right. So again, this is from uh, ChristianPost.com. Pastor dies attempting 40-day Jesus fast in Mozambique. A 39-year-old Mozambican pastor died trying to fast for 40 days in emulation of Jesus after going without food or water for 25 days. Pastor Francisco uh, Baraja, who founded Santa uh, Trinidad Evangelical Church and was also a French teacher in the central province of Manica, died in a hospital in Bira City on Wednesday, BBC reported, adding that he lost a lot of weight and could not stand. Doctors at the hospital said that he had an acute anemia and digestive organ failure. Uh, failure. Attempts to rehydrate him with serums and introduce liquids, liquid food, failed. So, oh. Oh, let, let's just continue. Let, let, I, I, I'm going to say my commentary to the end. Members of uh, Barajah's church said that the pastor and congregates would often fast, but never for such an extended period. Barajah's brother, uh, Marquise Manuel Barajah, doesn't believe the medical diagnosis was correct, claiming his brother suffered from low blood pressure instead. But at the same time, anemia, I think that... Excuse me, I think that that leads to low blood pressure on top of him not eating, you know what I'm saying, for 40 days. According to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, uh, and Luke in the Bible, Jesus went into the wilderness and fasted for 40 days or 40 nights after he was baptized by John the Baptist. This is not the first time someone has attempted 40-day uh, fast and died. In 2015, a 73-year-old Christian man from Zimbabwe named Ryan First Manuka died. He left his home on June 15th of that year to embark on a spiritual journey in the wilderness just like Jesus did. Manuka hoped that the fast would redirect his mind away from earthly things and toward God. While it had been claimed that the man made, uh, made it at least 30 days in the wilderness, the exact date of his death remained unclear as he could have died in the bushes for days before his body was eventually found by a stranger who alerted the police. Sad. Ah, oh, man. In 2018, a 15-year-old boy in Wisconsin identified as uh, IFA O. Mbozimbi died after his parents forced him Forced him, oh man, ah, uh, forced him to join a 40 day fast in search of a blessing from, oh man, man, this is sad, ah, oh, this is so sad, I just, now y'all see why it's important for us to read and examine the Bible, ah. Oh. After the parents reported that their son's death to police, authorities searched uh, the home and found his 11-year-old brother was also uh, emaciated. 
That means that he was starving as well. The 11-year-old boy was taken to a medical center for care. The couple was charged with uh, a child, well, uh, was charged with neglecting a child causing death and neglecting a child causing great bodily harm. Authorities said that the deceased teenagers wrote a letter to, quote, lawyers of Sauk County Circuit Court, end quote, complaining about the hunger he experienced during the fast and expressed fears about his eventual death. Quote, the hunger is too much. Please help me now so I may eat. The stranger, the, the, I'm sorry, the teenager wrote in the letter, quote, I can't continue in such a life with no food if I don't get food. Uh, now I'll probably die of hunger. Oh man. And this, and this is the type of stuff to be honest, that sways people away from the faith. This is the type of stuff that we have to be able to call out. That's why when we're looking at these false teachers and they're out here running amok in the, in the churches and people are out here on YouTube and on social media, Spewing all of this garbage, you got your you got your Marcus Rogerses out here talking about, uh, uh, you know they pulling snakes out of people's backs and and they talking about all of this health, wealth, prosperity, and faith healing and all of this stuff here. You get people who actually believe this stuff, and some of these people will try to go as extreme as possible, not realizing that they're causing death upon other people and even themselves. That's why I call out people and I name drop. Because if I can get someone, someone to just watch my video to say, hey, you know, I'm kind of going through this right now. I, I'm kind of under the, the leadership of a pastor. I'm watching this guy on YouTube who's saying all of this crazy and, and, and this crazy wicked stuff. If they could watch my video calling that stuff out to say, no, that's not what the Bible says. This is what thus saith the Lord. If that person can see that and say, well, wait, hold on. Let me take a step back. Let me actually, let me actually examine the Bible. Let me, let me see what the Bible says versus what this person say. This is what, this is what saving souls is about. Uh, Jesus was not the only biblical figure who fasted for 40 days. The book of Exodus records that Moses went without food for 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Horeb. And then was given the Ten Commandments after defeating the prophets of Baal. In the book of Kings 1, Elijah fed, uh, fled and fasted for 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Mount Horeb. So we're talking about men. We're talking about men who had direct interaction with God. It was the Lord that sustained them, not their action. That's the context. The Lord sustained Moses and he sustained Elijah and Christ sustained himself. You know, I mean, God incarnate. So of course he could do it. That's the context of it. And that's the end of this article. I, 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 I never read that. I just read that live people. We just got to get back to preaching the gospel, man. Like what happened to us? What happened to us, man? I mean, the gospel is necessary and it's sufficient. And the reason why the Lord didn't allow these particular people to live, to, to live ex excluding a 15 year old, but this particular pastor is because if this pastor would have survived just like that 73 year old person, if they would have survived, who would have got the glory for that? Would it have been God or would it have been them? They would have gotten the glory for it. What these people did was utterly stupid. The Bible nowhere commands us to fast for that long. God know what he was doing when he created our bodies. He know what we could put into it and he know what we could keep out of it. He know how fat, how, how much, how long we can go without food and water. God designed our bodies. What are we commanded to do? We're commanded to preach the gospel in season and out of season, not go take 40 day trips, 40 day journeys into the wilderness. So we can fast and show people, oh, we, we could do what, what, what God did. We could do what, what the Lord did. No, not at all. There was another guy. I think I mentioned this on my last live stream. A guy who buried himself and said that if y'all bury me three days when y'all dig me up, 
I'm going to be alive. I'm, I'm going to do exactly what Christ did. And sure enough, when they dug him up, he was dead. This is why we got to be able to address the foolishness and the madness. And I can't address everything that I see on, on the internet. Man, trust me. If I tried to address everything that I saw, the foolishness, especially coming from the Christian church, if I tried to address all of that, I, this live stream would be running 24 hours a day because people are putting up thousands and thousands of videos all at once spewing some rhetoric and some garbage and misinterpretation of scripture. You can't get to it all. So again, this is why I tell my Christian brothers and sisters, y'all don't understand how vitally important it is to read that Bible, read those scriptures, know your Bibles, man. Know your... It's simple, man. Just spread the gospel, meditate on the word daily, spread the gospel, disciple your family, live holy unto the Lord. We imitate the Lord by reading the Bible, reading his word and doing what it says, preaching the gospel in season and out of season. It's not this outward physical appearance.